Hello. Is anyone still around? Let me see if you can see me. Bitch, first. What a bloody nightmare. Technology, eh? Do you like my photo up the... <laughs> A photo up that angle. Well, I tried to stream again, and it was kind of the it wanted to do it in portrait mode. It was locked. It was a bloody pain in the ass. So here I am. I'm back, and possibly buffering too. Sound vision is buffering again. Thank you, Rich. Okay, I might have to abandon ship. Fuck's ache, says Rich. Yeah, okay. Might have to abandon ship. I'll do that thing about, um, it's probably the weather. Yeah, I could stop the old, turn the router off and on again, but if it's the weather, it's the weather, isn't it? I'll go down with your ship, yes. I will go down with this ship. Yeah. I will put my hands up and surrender. I'm definitely deleting this. <laughs> so my laptop's buffering. Okay. Everyone, let me know if it's looking all right from your angle, from where you are in the world. <laughs> John Snow, bloody hell, Dido's in the house. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Once again, with the ill behaviour, says Rich. Right, I'm going to carry on then. Jim, hello Jim. I'm going to carry on. But do shout if it goes awry, as I, as I say. Other people say or I. Either way, do shout if it's going boobs up. And I'll have to abandon ship because it's too annoying if it's all going wrong. And I might come back tomorrow and do it. Or I might record a video and just upload it in the normal manner but for the time being if it's okay with all the people in the previous stream have already shared your scent of the day you've signed in you signed on the register or you haven't shared your scent of the day now's your opportunity to do so and we are then going to start smelling the new fragrances that I have here one of which is not actually that new, but it was given to me by someone in House of Fraser, and I don't recall whether I smelt it or not, so I think we're gonna start with that. Okay, so that one is Dolce and Gabbana, the only one. Ah, Mavid, who's uh, just messaged me, thank you, I didn't get back to you, Dave. I didn't realize that was you, actually. Um, Dave uh, let me know that it was okay, uh, the streaming from his end. Anyone else? Ombre Lever. Jim is wearing Goldfield and Banks Velvet Splendor. I have not heard of that. It sounds rather fabulous. Pixie in the notes says, hi, hello. And Richard's wearing Promise. Richard, I'm calling you Richard. Here comes a cat trying to get on the chair. You can't actually see her, let's see, I can't quite get her in the shot. Um, she is very needy, this pussycat, aren't you? And you can't actually see much. I'm not messing around with the angle of the camera because it could all go wrong again. So we have here then Dolce and Gabbana, the only one. It's the Eau de Parfum and I believe this is aimed at the ladies. So let's have a sniff. I'm not really holding out too much hope of this being that exciting. However, let's give it a sniff. Try not to have to put, <coughs> try not to have preconceptions. I actually really like the female, the one. I don't like the male's version though. Um, that makes that find that a bit cloying. Pixie in the notes, I wore the one to my yoga today, not familiar with the only one. JLW back, still buffering. Yeah, it's actually buffering for me as well. 
it's a ball lake it's an actual ball lake and I don't even have balls so that's like quite seriously achy of the ballish area okay it's completely I'm completely buffered at the moment David and am I buffering for you because I don't want to talk about these frags if no one can hear me I'm looking like I'll show you what I can see on my screen no all good that's mental because look that's what I've got just st stuck still Claire how can you say that love that one the one mysterious nights was a disappointment though um yeah how can I say I don't love the one because I really don't I've I find it nauseating <laughs> completely then I'm gonna carry on this is uh, the most stream ever so we are smelling Dolce & Gabbana the only one uh, Neil Elliott we are trying the only one and that's definitely by smelling it is totally definitely female our Aussie fragrance, looking gorgeous as always. Cheers, Mark. Well, all. <laughs> um, John Mavid had in the house. Haha, -ha, I went to uni there. Okay. So this is super sweet. The only one. Um, I've got cat hairs on my face. It's making me itch. The only one. I've loaded it up, so I'm slightly prepared. So this one's got bergamot, violet, coffee, iris, patchouli and vanilla not really picking up on the violet it does feel like it's supposed to be similar to Yves Saint Laurent's uh, black opium but it's definitely not as heavy and ridiculously sweet as that it's a bit lighter and fresher I wouldn't say I'm getting really that much from it just a slightly sweet, vanillic. I'd say there's white florals in here. They're not listed on Fragrantica, but I would say there's a bit of white floral going on here. It's a bit fresh. It's a bit sweet. I don't really get the coffee at the moment. Might improve on the skin, might improve in time, but it's not exciting me right now. Hilary, no, you haven't missed anything. Only me saying, am I buffering? Am I not buffering? Am I buffering? Am I buffering? Um, at the moment, we're sniffing this. So this is the oldest one that I've got here. This is from 2018. And it's the only one by Dolce & Gabbana. Eau de Parfum, female, aimed. And it's pretty in a sea of, uh, like in a crazy ocean of pretty feminine scents of floral vanillas it's one of many it's certainly not getting me excited incense lol shave of fun i noticed you didn't start streaming till after the brit awards didn't even i know actually i haven't got a tv so i know nothing incense i have that oh you've got the only one what do you think of it in descent? I'm only sniffing it on a bit of paper. First impressions. So to me, it's a pretty, it, to me, it smells like a white floral vanilla. But apparently, according to Fragrantica, there's no white floral was mentioned, but there's violet and bergamot, coffee and vanilla. It's definitely pretty. I have nothing against it. I just don't find it particularly unique. We'll say that. So I'm going to put that to one side. Shave a you don't have a TV. Sacre bleu. Yeah, no TV here. Indie Sense says it's good on my skin. I will give it a test on skin for sure. John Snow, I haven't watched the Brits for about 10 years since I didn't know who anyone was. Age is a biatch. Well, it's your choice, John, if you if you want to keep up with that shit or if you have other interests that are more important. I don't think there's anything wrong with not knowing who these people are. Um, I wouldn't know who pretty much any of them were either. And I'm not blaming it on my age, all right? JLW, yeah, the only one sniffed okay with me, but it's not unique. Very much one made by a committee. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're all agreed then, it's not unique, but I, I do think it's nice. I wanna try it on skin, I want the violet to come out because I really like violet, so I'm gonna give that a go later on. Shave before and I was just waiting for Rod Stewart to finish the show, they streamed it live on YouTube. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, well, maybe I'll see some of it um, at some point. I'll watch it on YouTube, perhaps. I love Rod Stewart, so if Rod Stewart's on it, and as long as he's singing, then I'm, yeah, I'm up for that. Hilary is testing Amy Wash fragrances on skin right now. Let us know what you think, Hilary, what you're testing. And uh, David says, thoroughly enjoyed you and Mr. Smelly with Red Adolescence, Claire. Thank you. It was, honestly, it was such a nice, uh, it was such fun to feel. Maybe felt a touch stiff at the beginning, but I feel like we we really warm we all warmed up and uh, we had a lot of fun in the end. What with getting Stephen's foot out, uh, definitely wasn't expecting that. So it all all turned out pretty good, I think. John, we all need to end this stream with Maggie May. <gasps> yes, shall we? I'll get Alexa to um, to start the. Yeah, I'll get Alexa to play it, and we can all sing along. If you're up for that, give us a thumbs up, and I will do it. Uh, yeah, David, he's very, very, very professional. Yes, he is. Um, but I, I do honestly think he's genuine. I think he's just genuinely a really nice bloke. And he, it felt like anything would have gone, like he was well up for anything with us, but he just has his own composure and professionalism that, that, that that's him, but he's not judging. It didn't, it didn't feel judgy or anything. Um, when we were being a bit silly. Oh, we've got Benjamin in the house. Always show up at the end. It's not the end, Benjamin. I started a stream and it all went wrong. So I started again. We've only smelt one of five fragrances so far. So we are not at the end. JLW, yes, I was very excited about the fragrance review and meetup. Wish I could have been a fly on the wall. It was super fun. Uh, Hillary's testing Blossom Love, Lilac Love, Reflection Woman and Interlude Woman. Blossom is really nice, Almondy Vanilla, Lilac Soft Powdery Chocolate. Sounds really, really nice. I've got a dupe over there somewhere of the Blossom Love, which I like, but the dupe, which is an Armaf one, the almond doesn't hang around too long and then it's more, much more floral. So it's a bit too floral for my taste. However, it is a really nice fragrance. Okay, so I'm gonna have a swig of my drink to calm my nerves following all the buffering action. Mm. And we'll smell something else. Jim, I hit the dreaded Wi-Fi dead zone in the Metro tunnel. Did you like the only one? Um, Jim, it's pretty. We've all agreed, actually, all of us, uh, IndieSense has it, and she says it's very nice on her skin, but it is a bit generic and not that very, it's not that unique. It's a, it's a floral vanilla, really, to me. Quite pretty. It's supposed to have coffee. I'm not really getting that, and it's supposed to have violet, and I'm not getting that. However, on skin, it may be different. So I'd say I like it in terms of if I... If I didn't have the choice that I have at the moment and this was a bottle I owned, I'd absolutely wear it and feel confident that I smelt really pretty. But it's just not that unique. So let's spray the C Passione Intense by Giorgio Armani. C Passione Intense. So this did come out this year. So this is actually, on brief, a new fragrance from 2020. Let's crack this baby open. Doesn't tell us too much on the sample, uh, but you can see what the bottle looks like. I like the bottle. I think these are those ones that are painted on the inside, which I think is a really nice effect. Narciso Rodriguez, I think, were the first designer to do that. I think, I could be wrong. And it does look really great because it's kind of like matte enamel inside but it's glass outside so let's try that one si passione intense b 
Benjamin says he loves reflection woman. Uh, Shaver Fun's watching Rod Stewart now. He does. I don't want to talk about it with Ronnie Wood and the Royal Philharmonic. I love that song. That's one of my favourite songs ever. I love it by Rod Stewart, but I also love it by, is it Everything But The Girl? The female singer does it, and I love both versions. I find them really quite emotional. I don't know why, but I just really love that song. This is nice. So I'm getting like a tart red berry. Let me see if I can find the notes. I have all, I've loaded them all up. Ah, black currant syrup. That makes sense. Jasmine, white mask, patchouli, vanilla and cedar. So this isn't too sweet. This is less sweet than the Dolce & Gabbana one. This feels more grown up. So I can feel, to me, I would have guessed cranberry or not raspberry, but some kind of tart red berries with a slight sweetness. I think the jasmine's very light at the moment. Sorry about the rain. Comments, sorry. Uh, David says, why am I on a school night? It's not a school night for me because of shift work. I'm not back at work till Thursday night. So, cheers everyone. It's not wine, it's vodka and diet coke. Uh, Hilary says, reflection woman's a green, creamy floral. Perfect for the office. Interlude is crazy unique like a bright green kiwi and leather and walnut. So that's interesting. Um, JLW like the sea line, usually has some spice or musk. This one's got musk listed. So it definitely smells much more grown up than the, the trite that we get given from the designer female realms. Um, Robert says, since we're on a smelling styly, I think you say, I think we should go for Rod Stewart, you wear it, you wear it well, rather than Maggie Mae. You wear it well, little old fashioned, but I don't mind. That one? Um, Benjamin, we are like walking fragrance counters. Luz Belmar, hi, I'm working, I can't stay, but hello. Hi Luz, thanks for popping in. Christy, rain, rain. Uh, Shave of On You Wear It Well and True Blue are great tunes from Rod's 1972. Never a dull moment LP. Uh, uh, David, the rain is giving this video an ASMR feel. Well, that's good to know. Shave of Fun, I bought that when it came out. Must have been wearing English leather at the time. Uh, Christy, is it a dirty patchouli? I don't get any patchouli from this at the moment, so my guess is that's not going to come out for a little while. Nothing dirty here. It's kind of like um, red fruit musk. Not too sweet, no obvious vanilla at the moment. Just red fruits and musk, that's all I can really pick out. Maybe just a hint of the cedar coming through. Alright, yeah. Not, not loving it at the moment, not disliking it at all and I'm impressed with its originality because there's so many things that smell the same these days. This isn't mega unique, it prob it's probably more ballpark Dior Joy if I'm honest but not quite as pretty pink, not so floral it's, but it has got that musk and fruit. So yes, it's a kind of like, it's like that. It's not exactly that and it's certainly not that. So it's like that or it's maybe even teetering, like just a bit higher. Can I talk to you all about my latest hypochondriac episode? 
and that is that my little finger's not working properly. I don't, is it arthritis? So I can't get my lip, that one, I can't get it to behave the same as that one, like I, I struggle and sometimes it feels a bit dead and I can't quite control it. Is that arthritis setting in? Just sometimes it feels a bit strange and I, I just can't, I can't have, I don't have the same movement with it. Kind of looks like I do, but yeah, I don't. I don't quite have full control of my left little finger. If there's any doctors in the house, I need you to reassure me. Right. Um, Indie sense of soothing rain. Um, Benjamin loves the sound of the rain. JLW, it is pouring outside. It's actually probably not as bad as it sounds. This roof makes everything sound a lot worse. Uh, the sense of me, hello, what are you sniffing, Smurfy? Well, right now we are sniffing C Passione Intense. And it's kind of like a red, a red fruit and musk at the moment. It's getting sweeter actually, even now. A bit sweeter, I think like, the vanilla's now coming through. It's not rocking my world, but it is pretty. Um, uh, John, uh, John Snow says it might be fibromyalgia or however you spell it. That's how mine started. Oh, that doesn't sound too good. Um, JLW, yes, tell us all about your hypochondria. Okay, that's my. That's that's my main issue at the moment so if that's all I've got to worry about then I guess it's not too bad but there's always one little thing with me like and it's always something like my little toe some pain some at some point in my body but my little my problem at the moment is this this finger just is a little bit out of control as Benjamin it's not a tin roof it's a plastic roof so in the UK, if you have a conservatory, which is what this room is, it has to have, or the standard is that they had to be built with plastic roofs. That's like a rule, it's a law. Uh, Benjamin, yes, it's definitely mass appealing. Um, Scott says, little bent finger syndrome, if it stops you holding a wine glass, it could be serious. Let's, let's just check. We're okay, and I'm, I'm going to stick it out like a posh person. Uh, Caitlin, I have fibromyalgia and currently in a flare-up. It's the absolute worst. Fragrances help me though, it's, it, honestly. Help me through it, honestly. Well, that's good to know. Um, well, not good to know that you're suffering, but good to know that you can find something to, to help you. Christy, your blister is better then. Time to move on to a different issue, yeah. Actually, the blister's not perfect. It's still sore. I have to have a plaster on it for shoe wearing. <laughs> and I still limped when I had to walk down to the shop earlier, so yeah. But it's um, definitely on the mend. Foot's not going to fall off. <laughs> J or W. I'm always telling my husband, husband I'm stroking out. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly, I, I have these things and I do Google them. And then, of course, the worst things come up. And then you genuinely believe that you've got something serious. Uh, James is back out your frags. Hi, James. John. Kate saying sorry to hear that to Caitlin. Um, oh, I'm sorry that you're suffering, John, as well. That's a bit shit, and I really hope that my issue is not that, but it's not, it ain't the same. That little finger ain't the same. Might get it cut off. Next time I get surgery, I'll see if I can get a bonus deal. Get them to lift up my eyelids, lift up my forehead, and cut my little finger off at the same time. Sort of like a bog off deal. And John says, count yourself lucky, Claire, you'll never get man flu. That's true. All right, shall we smell something else? We're going to go for the alien now. Who's interested in alien mirage? 
that's this one. We've got some words inside this one. So here's a picture. The bottle's really nice actually. I saw that today. And it says, in the heart of the desert, the temperature drops, bewildering the senses. Alien Mirage, a floral odour toilet where aquatic freshness mingles with the sensuality of amber notes. So there you go. So it's an aquatic amber. Has anyone ever heard of an aquatic amber? They seem almost like different worlds, really. But we did spray this on paper today. And I think I found a bit of paper earlier and it was super sweet and peachy but I don't know if that was this one so let's check it out now mm -hmm. um, Basil Tiffany, what makes a fragrance smell expensive or sophisticated? Um, a, a multitude of different things how well the notes interact with each other and play out on your skin so if something some things can smell a little bit like a blend of essential oils not very well blended like chunky jumping from one note to another with no in between some things can blend so smoothly from one one aspect to another so that then smells more sophisticated or expensive sometimes you can smell if you get used to smelling different components you can smell the very synthetic so for example what bothers me is the very synthetic woodsy notes that seem to be very popular in men's fragrances at the moment to me they smell cheap that's not to say they are but they to me they smell cheap so if you put in a dry woody synthetic ambery smell to me it smells cheap but that's just personal i don't know if everyone else has an opinion on that but i think there's a many many components and at the end of the day no one knows for a fact unless you actually create the fragrance yourself you don't know what's in it no one knows that even if they think they do until you know what's in it you don't know what's in it and it's just down to your personal preference and I wouldn't worry about whether anyone else thinks it's expensive or sophisticated just as long as you enjoy it and you like the way it's blended and you like how it works on your skin that's all that matters um. Benjamin, I haven't heard of that one. Alien line for men or women didn't work for me so far. Okay, um, so this is Alien Mirage. It's an eau de toilette and it's aimed at women. It does smell a little on the feminine side because it's quite sweet actually. It smells a bit sort of somewhere between fig and coconut. You know how fig can smell peachy? It smells something like a figgy peachy coconut sweet scent it's a bit vanillic um i can read you the notes if you want i'll just catch up on the comments so jlw is laughing at my two for one plastic surgery comment caitlin is saying to john uh i was talking about her fibromyalgia epsom salt baths help um, so excited to see what you think of Alien Mirage. Haven't been able to find it near me. Um, uh, ben has heard of an aquatic amber. One called Iode by Cara Met Bell is an aquatic amber that he loves. JLW Claire, I think this is a very good description of cheap versus pricey. I think it depends on the effect you are going for. Some are cheap smelling on purpose to tell the story. That's true, yep. Yeah. Um, and Caitlin says, ooh, fig and coconut. Right, let's read the notes and see what we have. So we have pink pepper, mineral notes, 
syringa. I'm going to have to look up syringa and lotus, amber, and hinoki wood. So let's see what Fragrantita tells us syringa is. It's very creamy. It's not mega sweet. It's got a, a fair amount of sweetness, but it's not too sweet. Okay, so syringa is a floral note close to orange blossom and jasmine. Okay, so we're, we're talking white floral bouquet as such. We also have lotus. I personally don't know what a lotus flower smells like, so I'm going to look that one up too. Floral note with watery, aqueous qualities, light and ethereal with lightly sweetish tonality. So it's a watery floral that's very diffusive and ethereal. I can kind of see that. Now, Hinoki wood, I've heard this one come up before, but while we're at it, let's look it up. Hinoki wood. Hinokio, Hinokio. Let's see if I can. It's not going to let me now. Yeah, it's not going to let me at the moment. So, <laughs> but I'm guessing it's a variant of wood. So yeah, that's interesting that I find it milky and kind of figgy, coconutty, peachy. But there's no notes that would suggest that. What I noticed in the shop and what I'm noticing now is this is not very alien-like. So when you smell, so my favourite alien variant is the Essence Absolute. And when you smell that, you still can smell the original alien in there. In here, I don't really smell the original alien. Now the fact is, they're not linking or listing Jasmine Sandback. And Jasmine Sandback is the main thing about alien so this all they're calling it a flanker but actually if anything it's closer to aura it's got that um it's got something like what's in aura you know that green sweet thing that's in aura i get a bit mushroomy with aura i'm not exactly getting the mushroom aspect but there's this thick, sweet, green accord with Aura that I feel is in here. So I would say this is this could have been an Aura flanker. That's my thoughts on it. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? JLW. I like you, so I'm giving you a spanner because I feel like you need a spanner. You don't have to use it, I'm just giving you one. We'll just, you know, give you that little bit of uh, gravitas, shall we say. Okay, so. Heather, milky musk has fig, reminds me slightly of Fanny in Sensei. Um. Uh, JLW, my husband wears Hong Kong by Lalabo. Um, very strong Hinoki wood. It's creamy, but a bit more citrusy than, say, a sandalwood. Okay, so that might explain the creamy aspect to it. And Heather says her oldest son's got an intersense recently. He loves Gourmand. Uh, JLW, what? So honoured. You've got the spanner, JLW. Yeah, so... What do I think of this? I think it's a touch too sweet for my personal tastes. I would happily wear it. It feels very holiday. It feels a bit beachy. It's yeah, it's got this slightly sweet honeyed peachy floral note that could be a little bit like suntan lotion or even a little bit like a creamy cocktail. It does feel verging on a gourmand fragrance. So I like that. I think if this has some development, which I would imagine as a Mugler fragrance it will do, 
then this is really quite nice. Probably my favourite of what we've smelt so far. Creamy, sweet, gourmand, delicious. So if you like gourmands, I think you're probably going to like this. In terms of the aquaticness, the aquatic is there, but it's only making up a little bit of the fragrance. So fragrance is dominated by the sweet, creamy, edible aspects. And it's ever so slightly counteracted by a hint of a, a bit of a salty, a salty breeze. But it's not a seaweedy and it's not ozonic, it's just a bit of a salty breeze. But mu much more it's about the sweet, gourmand, milky, creamy, figgy coconut kind of floral thing. So yeah, I think it's quite nice. So that is Mugla Alien Mirage. So we've got two more to go. Uh, Richard, Perfum, that's a good one for men. I think, well, why, uh, what, why YSL are we talking about, Richard? So, let's do the Gucci's. Let's start with the men's one. So, in boots, I got samples. Now, that is unheard of. Boots generally don't have samples, or they tell you they don't have samples. I spoke to a very lovely sales lady. We just got chatting. I wanted to smell the pink one. And I was going to walk away with it on a bit of paper and she offered to get me a sample. And then I cheekily said, could I have the men's one as well? And I'm going to be completely honest with you. It's so I can review it on YouTube. And then we had a lovely conversation. So I've got both. And we have Gucci Guilty Love Edition Eau de Toilette Port Homme. And I've got the notes here. But I tell you what, let's smell it before I get biased by the notes. So if I can find a clean bit of paper so that's clean so gucci guilty love edition for men here we go so the, i like the bottles here i like the ladies and the men's bottles pastel oh i kind of wanted to love the pink one so that i could buy it but we'll come to that i haven't really tried it properly Richard Gucci, bad for men. Oh, I don't know that one. Okay. Um, this smells like herbal essences, bath gel, or is it Radox? You know, the bath gel that's green. So it's very herbal and it smells very soapy and clean. To me, this is... It's body spray. It's the kind of body sprays that the boys would wear at school. Lynx body spray, deodorant, shower gel. I'm not really feeling that. It's very herbal. Very fresh. I don't think it's very sophisticated. I think you'll smell very clean when you wear it. But the danger is you're going to smell like you've sprayed a two pound body spray. Heather, some scents take forever to get to the market area here. Someone stole the Gucci Guilty Love Edition from Ulta last week. Couldn't test that. Oh, how annoying. Um, Jim, oh, that does not sound promising. Yeah, I mean, maybe it will get better. And I always have to remind people, I am spraying it on paper, not on skin. And I'm just going on top notes. Uh, Richard says Gucci don't make nice fragrances for men. Um, well, do you know what? Some At least what they've been making in general recently has been unique. But this is not unique. So it's almost like they've gone completely off the path they were on of making unique scents like the Gucci Guilty Absolute and the Memoir. They at least were unique, although probably not very good sellers. So they've probably now gone too far in the opposite direction. And this is, it's got some nice aspects. It's a little bit spicy. It's actually quite spicy. It's hot, hot and spicy and also shower jelly, fresh herbal. So let's see what the notes actually are because I could be completely ballsing my description up here. 
Right. Oh, it's by Alberto Marias. Superstar fragrance. Uh, uh, superstar, what do you call it? Perfumer. Top notes, ginger, kumquat. Kumquat. Mandarin, pink pepper. We've got lavender, geranium, and rosemary. We've got patchouli, benzoin, and vetiver in the base. So I guess you could say my description was fairly on point in a lot of herbal notes and a lot of spicy notes. It's very clean. It's a bit soapy. The only note that, that I like in all of that is the benzoin. I'd be, I, I like ginger in a fragrance as well if it's done nicely, but ginger could come off soapy. It's possibly what's causing this to be soapy, but I could be wrong. Kumquat. I don't know what kumquat smells like. But yeah, it's fresh, it's clean, it's soapy and it's spicy. It's a safe buy for someone who isn't really a fragrance enthusiast, just wants to smell generically clean and fresh and slightly like they've made an effort, in my humble opinion. And JLW liked the Memoir Gucci Nice Musk Almond and Chamomile. I struggled with Memoir. I think the Chamomile was just too dominating for me. Um, uh, Richard doesn't buy Gucci anymore. Um, JLW don't usually go fresh herbal soapy. Yeah, I think uh, for us lot, we're really into fragrances. This is not for us. This is not. This is not for us at all. This would make a lovely gift for a 17, 16 year old lad who's just getting into fragrances. I think it would make a perfect gift. Um, if he hasn't developed too much of a taste and is still used to wearing body sprays. And apart from that, I'd say leave well alone. So <laughs> let's try the next one. Let's try the pink one. And then that will be the last one. So the pink one. That's it. I love the bottle. I sprayed this on paper today in the shop before the lady gave me the sample. And when I found that piece of paper an hour later in my car, there was barely anything on it. I'm still going to test it properly before I prejudge it. But the fact that there was hardly anything on the paper less than an hour after spraying it doesn't bode too well. Uh, Jim never eaten a kumquat. I'm not even gonna, I'm not, I'm not saying it, I'm not, um. Oh, Lizzie's, Lizzie's here, Lizzie off of Rose and Jones is in the building. Thanks for signing in, Lizzie, good to see you. And Rich Mitch says, I've a clockwork kumquat. Okay, how does it smell, Rich? Okay then. So let's uh, sniff this. Let's sniff this young lady. It's a Gucci Love Edition. Gucci Guilty Love Edition. Trying to find the hole. Sometimes you can't find the hole, can you? Here we are. And you have to be careful you don't squirt it in your eye. So, Gucci Guilty Love Edition, the pink bottle. Rich Mitch says, sniff me. So this is really pretty when you spray it and I would say it's got more of a unique smell than most of what we smelt tonight really. So I'm going to read you the notes. I was kind of excited for this one because it's got a, a violet note. We've got bergamot, grapefruit, watery notes. Raspberry, Narcissus, Violet, Jasmine, Flower Petals, well that could be anything, Musk, Patchouli and Amber. Fragrantica voters put Violet massively as the most noticeable fragrance in, note in it. I can kind of get the Violet. Actually, it kind of reminds me of the violet in 
What's the apple bottle? Lolita Lempica. It reminds me of the violet in Lolita Lempica because I find that not to be a sugary violet. You have other notes that are quite sweet and um, the licorice dominates quite strongly, but you can smell the violet. So yeah, I get like a, a woody violet, pink, powdery, It's kind of nondescript, but it's pretty, it's really nice. It's very feminine, it's very light, very ethereal. It's almost like ice and sugar sprinkled in the air and you just catch a tiny bit of it. It's a bit more than just ice and sugar. It's not that sugary actually, but would I pick out violet? I'm not entirely sure without knowing it's there. I need to try this one on my skin. Uh, Heather says, my 18 year old accidentally sprayed Mugla Aura, thought he was spraying away. It smells good on him, it smells like wintergreen on me. Yeah, it's funny how it can be that, that way. Something smells good on you and not so on someone else. Uh, JLW, oh, I like a little Lempica violet, interesting. Uh, have I hope Ulta replaced the bottle, I enjoy violet. This is not a Palmer violet, this is not a sugary violet. It's, it's smooth and woody and I feel like I can smell a hint of licorice but I don't know if that's just my head thinking Lolita Lempica. Moody Boo! Hello Moody Boo! Thank you so much for the shout out the other day on your video. Hi honey, have you tried Hilda Solani's Sweet Parmesan Violet? Not a big Violet fan but that's a nice one. No, I've tried nothing from that house but I think they're based in the States so it's not easy for me to sample unfortunately but it does sound really good. JLW Pink Powdery sounds like a vague scent, mm, not sure if that's good or bad. I think it needs to go on skin and I'm kind of coated already with stuff. Let's go on this shoulder here. Um, skin might help bring out some character. At the moment it is lacking in character, I can't lie. Um, I don't know if you know Moody, we're talking about Gucci Guilty Love Edition and I'm sure it'll be better on skin. It is very vague, um, vague and watery, and it really didn't last. When I smelt it on the paper, only an hour after spraying it, all I got was a really, really pale floral powder musk. But maybe, this, maybe I'm anosmic to some of this stuff. I mean, that could be what's going on. I'm really a nosmic to my, I'm not really a nosmic as far as I'm aware to anything, but maybe, maybe I found something I'm a nosmic to, because this is very light and really just not much going on here. It is, it's warmer on my skin. I feel like I can smell a little bit of vanilla now. I'm fresh out the shower by the way, so there's definitely no other smell coming from here. <laughs> <laughs> I deliberately showered before doing the live, the live stream so that I could uh, shower off the scents I was reviewing earlier today. Um, <laughs> this, this probably looks a bit strange. It's a bit more going on when you put it on skin, but it's really difficult to describe. Um... Oh, she's based in Italy. Okay, I'll see if I can get samples then, Moody Boo, because that sounds really nice. Um, Elise is asking if she can subscribe to Moody Boo's channel. Everyone should subscribe. I'm so glad you're back, Moody Boo. I hope that you carry on. I know you had a little break for a while. Uh, Lizzie, love my violet, but realise I don't have that many violet scents. Something that needs to be rectified. I'm pretty fussy with violet. It can sometimes lean to OAP. I know what you mean, yeah. 
I like my violet, I guess I like my violet a little bit on the gourmand side, or yeah, yeah, probably on the gourmand side mostly. I like that, I like it to smell like Palmer Violet Sweets, that's my preference. Uh, Caitlin's loving Moody Boo's channel as well. So glad to see your recent content. You and Smurfy are my favourite fragrance reviewers. Oh, that's really nice. JW, what is the concentration? Is it eau de parfum, eau de toilette? It's eau de parfum, allegedly. That's what it says. Ooh. Eau de parfum. My guess is a weaker version. It's probably like the lowest concentration you can get away with to call an eau de parfum. But, I mean, it's definitely got more body on skin lots of musk it's quite pretty it's actually funnily enough reminded me of my favorite fragrance in the world ever which is my insolence which doesn't have violet by the way but um it is reminding me now on skin of my insolence so go figure because that's my favorite fragrance so now i'm a bit more excited about it <laughs> Maybe it's got like an almond blossom note like My Insolence does. It's not listed, but it feels like the, there's this, in My Insolence, there's this musk, there's muskiness, there's vanilla, and there's almond blossom, amongst a few other things. And it feels like it might share some of the musky and the almond blossom stuff. It's much better on skin, I would say. Yeah, on paper it's really cold and flat. So I will give this one a full wearing and I will review it because I'm really interested now. It's gone from like, it's gone from zero to hero almost. Sweetie, do not knock my fragrances over because she always listens to what I say. Um. Oh, Moody Boo, Smurfy is my favourite as well. That's so nice. Thank you. I'm absolutely honoured that you think that. Thank you. Cheers. Uh oh. So she, she is knocking. Yep. So she's knocked a sample onto the floor, you know, when they do that. Um, and Lizzie says Palmer Violet is her preference as well. Nice and sweet. Rose and Jones would love for Sylvain Delacourt's next collection to be Violet. So. Who would I? Let's let's do a petition. Let's do one of those online petitions for it. Uh, Caitlin says, yes, Smurfy has an incredible nose. Thank you so much. Elise, I bet your cat smells wonderful. I think she does pick up quite a lot of the fragrances uh, that are going around the house and uh, probably catches some on her fur as I'm spraying them. She doesn't seem to mind. Um... JLW said, I need to go. I have a work call now. Good night, Claire. Sweetie, bye all. Bye, JLW. Thank you for dropping by. Thank you for your lovely comments and great interactions. Rich says he's got tonsillitis. Send help. I will send you a lozenge, Rich. I'll send it in the post, but I'm only going to send it second class. Might be too late. Uh... Rich Mitch aching all over. Moody Boo says gargle with salt water. Oh, them kumquats, says Jon Snow. You've been swallowing, Rich. Yeah, stop swallowing the kumquats, Rich. James is still here. Hi, James. Rich Mitch gargled with aspirin. Okay. Hope you feel better soon, Rich. Right, well, that's all my fragrances. You come what, come what may, Rich. I hope you feel better soon. That's all the fragrances. I hope you enjoyed it. I am going to sign out. I think I'm going to have a little bit of a chill before an early bed. Thank you, everyone, for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. It's been great fun. Uh, Benjamin, thank you. Yeah, fun chatting. Really appreciate all your interaction. Appreciate you signing on the register. Appreciate you sharing the scent of the day and your thoughts on the fragrances. Cheers, Scott, night. And uh, night to James, Outlaw Frags. 
night to db70 night to caitlin night to lizzie glad i caught the end at least i'm glad you were able to make the last little bit lizzie john night night everyone night jimbo night christy this is like the waltons good night jimbo good night christy good night mary lou <laughs> So night everyone, I'm going to end the feed now and I appreciate all of your interactions.